The Supreme Court appointed special panel has given a clean chit to the Adani group in connection with the allegations raised by the sh uh, short sellers Hindenburg. Uh, this report has now been made public. The Supreme Court panel has found no prima facie violation by the Adani group. Uh, no manipulation of share price by the Adani group, no investment laws violated, all information shared, uh, no proof of illegal investments. Um, SEBI has not found fault with information the Adani group have provided. Retail investment in the Adani group only grew after the Hindenburg report, etc., etc. Let's go across uh, for political reactions and other reactions. I'm joined by Tehseen Punawala. Tehseen, your first thoughts uh, you know, on this report, which has now been made public. So I think there were questions that were asked because of Hindenburg report. We all asked those questions. Now that this is in public domain, the, Se the SEBI report has come out. No wrongdoing is found. I think we should accept it. Even prior to this, the finance minister of Mauritius spoke in parliament and he said that there are no shell companies. Now that we have this evidences there is no wrongdoing i think we should now stop attacking indian groups and indian entrepreneurs particularly which are by motivated groups that profit from short selling from foreign uh, based ngos from people who benefit by foreign media i think india is a pros india's prosperity will be dependent upon entrepreneurs making it big and we should support our entrepreneurs now that we know no wrongdoing has been done so that's before the supreme court we should now accept this report then why make a demand for a JPC at all when everybody, including several opposition parties, knew that the Supreme Court early in the day has appointed this panel? No, that's fine. They had a demand for a JPC that's happened with the Supreme Court uh, uh, monitored investigation. That is one part of it. You may look into JPC. But now what is before the court? We know that before the court, all evidences have been put by SEBI. They put out a report by the expert committee that said he's put, given them evidences, there's been no wrongdoing, no share price manipulation. The Mauritius finance minister uh, has clarified that these are not shell companies as uh, alleged in the Hindenburg report. If none of it is true, then why are we going after a group? Now that all allegations are clear, in my opinion, and to your parliament question, politicians should not attack businessmen. I firmly believe it. And now this should stop. Now, Mr. Adani and the Adani group should not be harassed. It's in Should public this domain. demand for a JPC based on this report go away? And secondly, there is, of course, a SEBI report. So perhaps after that SEBI report, depending on what the SEBI report says, should a JPC go away, this, this demand? Because at the end of the day, when political leaders across political lines or in some political parties start going after a, a company when allegations have been raised at a time when the Supreme Court has said, look, we've got a panel investigating this, what does it do? It further erodes public wealth, it per further uh, hits confidence, it, you know, I mean, the valuation of companies disappears, it affects our country's image, it affects the lives of lakhs of employees, lakhs of shareholders. So for, to score political points, aren't political parties missing the larger picture that at the end of the day, this is India, you know, who are we trying to shoot? You're right, Vishnu. Ultimately, India must always come first. And look, the wealth that got wiped off, whose money was it? It was Indians' money that got wiped off. The the allegations and the, and the bad name or the bad reputation that was alleged to have been made, it was for an Indian company. So I think this must now end. Yes, there were certain allegations made by the Hindenburg report, which, by the way, had a motivated cause. It was short selling. Yet, fair enough, you took up those allegations. Now that you have it in public domain, not just from Indian agencies, but also from the Mauritian fi finance minister that there is no wrong way. It's before the Honorable Supreme Court. I think the witch hunt should now stop. Okay. People should be encouraged to become wealth creators. Only then will India prosper. So going after industrialists is not the right thing to do. Once everything is clear and it's not capital, uh, crony capitalism. We now know it's not crony capitalism. That is clear. I think it should end. Till that point, I understood you had questions. It is the opposition's job to ask questions. Now this must end. Okay, uh, Tessin, just be with me. I'm joined by Devin Chokshi, uh, the market expert. Mr. Chokshi, thanks very much for being with us. Your thoughts on this report and its implications? Yeah, good afternoon. Well, I think this report is basically uh, asking SEBI to complete the investigation regarding the charges which have been levied on the uh, whatever the Hindelberg report is all about. So frankly, I think this report has done its own due diligence. And in that due diligence, I think they say that they have not found anything wrong, which has uh, basically been disclosed by Adani Group in so far public domain. So that part, I think, is coming out very clear. And I don't think that I think if there is any ambiguity in the report on that front. 
maybe i think the details are required to be obtained by cb on the whatever the charges that the endelberg has levied on the group and whether i think they are substantiated if they are not substantiated then probably i think we'll have to wait till the report comes out uh, sir i just wanted to mr choksi go through a couple of points uh, that have been mentioned um no law violated in the rise of the adani share prices sebi was fully aware of a change in share prices uh, in the adani group uh, sebi has not found fault with information that the adani group gave um and then they've also spoken about how short sellers profited after the hindenburg report that we know but they've also alluded to the possibility of a conspiracy because they've got intelligence to suggest that some groups were profiting even before this report was about to come out so at the end of the day what are the implications do you believe for the adani group so as i said that i think sebi has paid to come up and report about the transactions in detail for whatever the allegations are till that particular report comes out i think you cannot be saying that everything is clean at this right. point of time i think we do like to believe that i think everything is clean but till the time i think the report comes out i think you will not be able to conclude that way so at this point of time i think since the uh, committee report is not adverse i would only say since the committee report is not adverse it means that i think the first level of i think uh, uh, investigation is suggesting that i think things are not as bad as it has been i think alleged so from that point of view i guess i think it's a good uh, thing to note about and i take that point uh, mr choksi that there is a sebi report which is uh, to come it will be heard in a couple of months from now uh and uh, whether it's a final report or not we don't know because sebi has said that they needed more time to investigate do they have enough time or not that's something which the supreme court will look at once the next hearing takes place in a couple of months but manish barya a political analyst joins us as well mr barya thanks very much for being with us um you know i mean shouldn't political yeah, parties nice. have waited before Sorry. going after a gigantic group uh you know affecting the lives of so many people at so many levels uh until at least one report was out what stopped them from waiting on this so uh hi good afternoon uh, vishnu and to all the viewers at ndtv and i was listening to tehsin and once we were there in this you know same program like this and i think our what i was listening to him our views matched uh, except the part the political part i think india has paid a pretty heavy price and the investors have paid a very heavy price for the kind of anxiety that was created in the market uh, i think that was not good and i was always opposed to that until unless the report comes comes up and comes up and you know damns it the company i think uh, the political parties were not very responsible in their the way they approached this entire adani issue so uh, anyway because it was political it was bound to happen but uh, i i think uh, they should have looked at our national interest first the protection of investors of our country of the people and then they should have made statements a lot of statements were very loose and irresponsible and i think the damage has been done maybe we can learn for the future that if anything something of that sort comes up there is a lesson for sebi also because you know sebi has taken so much of time and maybe for our you know judicial system because markets you know they panic and investment you know is more about psychology so because people panic uh, these kind of reports and decisions and committees they should be pretty fast i i don't think it should be fast track i don't think the way it has come it has done any favor to any of the groups neither to adani not to the market regulators or to the investors a lot of lessons to be learned and uh, also the fact that we must understand that as india will grow our economy will grow uh, we are susceptible to attacks on our companies that are leading companies and uh, we are not generally ready to believe that uh, they could be vested interest in attacks on our companies i am not saying that this might have happened to even adani but what i am saying is that we should be mentally ready and not really accept any rep report which comes from foreign land you know at face value we have to question them also look at how credit so is you know it went down they were the ones who first came up and said okay we are not accepting their bonds and stuff like that and that company itself went down so what does it tell you about the the credibility of many of the institutions which are global institutions and which are uh, revered just like that nobody is ready to question those institutions mm -hmm. now is the time 
to really take stock and say, okay, uh, I think we should question what comes from outside and a faster uh, approach towards solutions to these kind of problems should sure. be there. That is what my point is. Uh, you know, Tessin, it's not the first time that the opposition has gone after the government and then you've ended up with reports which have actually backed the government constantly and you need to ask the question, I'm talking about Rafal in the past, and you therefore need to ask the question that in whose interest are you scoring political points at the end of the day? Let me just remind our viewers that in the case of Rafal, there were three judges with three separate uh, orders who were all separately unanimous on the fact that there was no evidence of corruption which, is, which had taken place. By that time, you'd had this entire political battle which was fought and heaven only knows how our security has been impacted by the end of the, at the end of the day. In this particular case, completely different context, public sentiment erode, uh, has been affected, shareholder wealth has gone, the wealth of several groups has gone down, our international reputation has been affected. Again, why? Because political parties couldn't wait for a legal process. So, Vishnu, you're confusing two issues. One, Rafael, or prior to that, allow me to finish, and or Bofos are completely different from what is the Adani group issue. So let's not do that. Uh, in in Bofors, even in the nuclear deal, the BJP went after the then government of the day. So I think opposition should learn to, in certain things in national interest, not do it. So BJP was also responsible. Let's stick to the Adani group because that's our topic. When the Hindenburg report came out, so I agree more or less with what the other panelists said, that when the Hindenburg report came out, there was a conflict of interest. They put it out there, but there was a conflict of interest. They wanted to short it so that they could, uh, so they could profit from it. Prior to this, there was a Fitch report. On the Fitch report, I myself have no, numerous times said that there was nothing wrong with the Adani group, the deaths was under control. The problem out here is this. Opposition with regards to economy will always raise an issue. They take duty to raise it so that A, there's no uh, crony capitalism, B, uh, people don't lose their wealth. But what happens is when institutions don't perform, even now, this is an expert committee report. It's taken us so long for the Mauritian finance minister to clarify and for SEBI still not clarified. Now, SEBI could have so easily clarified, look, these are prime FSI, not shell companies. We've spoken to the Mauritian authorities. Why did you have to wait for the Mauritian finance minister to clarify? There is my problem. My problem is, what was the Hindenburg report? That there were six apartments in one of, uh, in, uh, six uh, shell companies in an apartment in Abu Dhabi. Mauritius denied it. SEBI could have just done this paperwork and denied it within one hour. But in one day, had this happened, you wouldn't have had this erosion of wealth. Again, I'm saying national interest must be paramount. Don't go after industrialists. They build wealth. But at the same time, we need to now look within ourselves and make our institutions stronger. And they must react faster so that the common man is protected. One more thing I'm going to repeatedly say. Stop going after industrialists. And let, not everyone's a thief. People create wealth for our country. That's how we will become a $5 trillion economy and grow further. So we must respect wealth creators. I'm in, I'm in favor of that. No, I think Tessin makes an important point when he also refers to that interview by that uh, Mauritian minister. In fact, he spoke to, to us as well. He spoke to me as well, yeah. where he made the simple point that forget about the Adani group. The implications of Hindenburg affects the, 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 uh, the reputation of his entire country and their financial order. And that they've done their own studies as well. And it indicates that not just the Adani group, but no group that they have been investigating are alleged to have been involved in any of this, right? Uh, you know, whether it's share price manipulation, whether it's having shell companies, which are somehow or the other illegal. Uh, he says that we are fully connected, you know, with, with legal systems of monitoring, international systems of monitoring. You, these things don't just happen because you say it does happen. Uh, you know, That's I mean, money's just a few, money's just a few thoughts of mine over there. Just one line. Just yeah, one yeah. Line yes, yes, one yes, line. yes. Just one line. Even on this round tripping of money to increase share prices, you see, money, let, let's, Mr. Adani cannot get money in a bag in coming to India. I mean, it'll come by the RBI route. RBI could have just clarified it's not happened. And I've been saying this, look, if someone's done something wrong, please prosecute them. When there is nothing, there's no money coming in cash, it's coming in by the RBI route. Even today, RBI is not yet clarified. You just clarify so that people can move on and investor wealth is not lost. We okay. have to protect investor wealth. It's very important. So okay. our institutions must become more receptive and faster, either in protecting or in prosecuting. In either case, in this case, you should have protected the Adani group. There was no, no, and I think the Supreme Court uh, report actually does mention that, while, while also saying that SEBI has got fairly decent structures in place to be dealing with this sort of thing. Manish, go ahead before I take a break. Yeah, yeah. Vishto, I, I think uh, this is not as simplistic as Mr. Tasin was talking. Uh, you know, the Congress party attacked uh, pretty, uh, uh, you know, badly on this issue. 
and uh, there was always a guilt by association so uh, i i think uh, uh, you know uh, i would rather say that uh, you know congress party was not very responsible as well as the entire opposition and there was a lot of innuendos which were there a lot of things floating around so i, I think uh, a time has come where uh, i would say that the political parties especially opposition they would have to be more responsible and not jump the gun so soon right it, it was not like that it was made into a huge political slugfest and i think they try to take brownie points out of this entire exercise but ultimately it has done a lot of damage to our corporate world i, I think a time time has come where as as a country we should take pride in our uh, industrialists and which i don't seem to see the way a lot of opposition parties have been targeting companies and business houses so uh, there is a lot of you know work needs to be done and maybe i would say that uh, more transparency is required some some rules are required where uh, you know you cannot damage the 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 you know the the corporate houses without having maybe defamation, defamation rules or something i'm not going for a draconian laws but yes there should be some kind of a uh, you know stop to this entire exercise because when poor uh, you know a lot of investors they have gone you know completely broke look at lic a lot of you know investments have come down now who is responsible for that political parties have played a very important role in pulling these things down and they have actually been you know obviously not by uh, you know by choice but they have really encouraged a lot of short sellers in this sure. so you know hindenburg has really uh, uh, you know benefited out of this a all right of, manish uh, i'm just interrupting you, know, you because yes. i need to take a short break we will come back with a lot more of this as we try and go through other parts of this report as well uh back after the short break.